guys, it's me. I wanted to make a little video because my birthday's coming up. Turning 2010 on April 6th. Um, and I am really hard pressed for anything <laughs> right now. So if anyone wants to um, thin anything, that'd be awesome. Um, but of course, no pressure. Um, you guys are awesome. But I wrote this. Um, it's my email address, vividlygeneric at AOL.com. Uh, Google Wallet, you just send. That's ah, Um It's really cool. You just like literally like you send it to my email and I can just deposit it. It's so awesome and really helpful. And then of course the Amazon e-gift cards. Um, so if anyone asks me what I want for my birthday, that's what I want. Um, just got back from a psychiatrist appointment which was decent. Um, I've been feeling so depressed and just, oh my god, so hopeless lately. It's just, like right now I feel better than I have in a while, but I mean it's just been so bad. Like I keep having just fantasies of, fantasies quote unquote of just going to a shooting range and killing myself and it's like you don't even need a gun, have to, you don't even need to own a gun anymore to be able to kill yourself. You can just pop in and be like, oh, um, which I'm doing everything I can to not think that way or do that. Um, I, um, <clears throat> after I made the video I made before, after the sexual assault, I checked myself into uh, the hospital. Um, which they weren't able to get me into Porter, which I really like Porter. So they sent me down to the Springs, which was just like, uh, I had to be in an ambulance going down to the Springs. I was just like, this is ridiculous. Um, and it was like a place that, they had a, I mean, they're, they build them themselves. Um, it's like a pretty cool psychiatric facility, um, with a good business model for sure, um, like, it's separated out into adolescent girls, adolescent boys, um, geriatric, um, acute, and geriatric okay, okay, they call it high functioning, and then they have just the adult acute and the adult high functioning. I was in the adult high functioning. Now the acute is like schizophrenia, like just like blah. so they had actually stepped me up to go into there because it has like a higher like suicide watch type of thing and um but then I got there and they're like, Yeah, they did this wrong. The evaluator I had at the hospital in the emergency room she did not like me one bit. Um, so, yeah, so that was that. Um, oh, and they keep you there for longer than most places do anymore. Most places it's like 72 hours, maybe another 12 on top of that, and then you're out. But, um, was there, they said the average day is seven to ten days. I was there for five days. The good thing was I tried, they kept me there to try this EMDR thing, which is like, um, it's like this rapid eye movement thing. It's like a therapy. Um, I'm holding a selfie stick, so I don't know if I can do this, but like it, it accesses both you know, the left and right sides of your brain and then the trauma center or whatever and keeps the your traumatic memories experiences from coming forward 
so often. Like it kind of um, makes you, you're not like hypnotized, but you, it just makes it easier to deal with. So I tried it in a group setting, which of course that's, you know, <laughs> we had one geriatric lady, it was actually kind of funny, there was a geriatric lady that came in, so the doctor has to refer you to go into this group, so um, there were like nah, five of us from the adult unit I was in, and then one geriatric lady, and <laughs> the poor therapist, um, the geriatric lady after, as a therapist was talking and explaining it, because, you know, most of the time, you know, obviously, you know, people don't always know exactly what it is, and the doctor doesn't explain everything about it, so, you know, she's explaining what she does, and how it works, and, and it can actually, you know, be very dangerous, because you, um, right afterwards, like, those memories are, are, you get worse before you get better. So, anyways, she has to, you know, disclose all of that. Well, the geriatric lady was like, interrupted her. She's like, I'm getting bored listening to you. Um, I think that we all know what this is about. Can we get started? <laughs> and the psychologist, she was like, I'm sorry, I have to explain this. Um, you know, and blah, blah, blah. So the lady's like, okay. And then, not five minutes later, the lady's like, I have pancreatitis, I need to eat, I'm starving. And it was like right after lunch anyways, but, um, and she was like, okay, um, I'll go grab you a snack. And, which is like, she's not her server, but she was like, I need to have the cheese, uh, chips, and, <laughs> cheese, chips, um, a banana and juice. <laughs> so the say, psychologist hadn't caught the the juice part. And then gets back with these items and she's like, and juice <laughs> and then so we're all just like, oh my god. Um, wanting to get started. Of course you want to get started. It does get boring, but you don't you just happen to go through that. Um So, um, then all of a sudden the lady's like, I am so tired. I don't think I can do this. I don't want to do this. And so the psychologist is like, okay, let me call your unit and get you taken to bed. <laughs> so she got carted out after listening to how it works and all of that and getting her snack and, oh my god. But, um... So, while it wasn't a pleasant, pleasant experience, um, it wasn't terrible, and I, God, I just seem to do so much better in hospital settings, like, I don't know why, I just get so depressed, and so just like, oh my god, like, it just, it hurts, so, and while I was there too, I was really happy that, um, I finally um, broke my um, plateau and got under 110 pounds. I was 108 pounds. Um, so that was nice. They didn't really, it was like a cafeteria style dine, dining room or whatever. So they didn't have much that I was going to eat. So I basically would just get coffee and um, like fruit or vegetables if they had them. Um, so of course, you know, they had the nutritionist and doctors, you know, talking to me about my anorexia and blah, and, um, I was like, yes, I know, that's not what I'm here for, but, um, anyways, so, yeah, that's pretty much it, but birthday's coming up, um, Therapies are coming up, getting an injection on the 7th, if my insurance approves it on time, and then also have an appointment for my eye um, to see if they need to redo that surgery, because it's still running and I've been getting migraines. I got the worst migraine the other day, oh my god, I've 
I don't get migraines. And I was like, this is a migraine. I was like throwing up. I wasn't throwing oops, ash. I hadn't eaten, so I was just like throwing up stomach acid, but it was just awful, awful, awful. So, um, yeah. Anyway, so, um, some of the girls that I was in that uh, group with brought me, uh, while I was at the hospital, this shirt, they got me this, this cutest gift basket, which the hospital didn't even show me, because you're not allowed to really have that much stuff there, they have to, like, document everything, but, um, they got me, like, five different tops, um, and pants, a pair of like yoga pants all of them are all like extra small and I was like it's never gonna fit me and then I put them on and I was like oh, I've been wearing the wrong size this stuff actually does fit me so but it was so sweet and they got me um like a little coloring thing and a magazine and some pictures that we had taken of all of us and a little stuffed animal it's really sweet for them to drive all the way down there to give that to me um and since I used to live in the Springs, um, Chelsea came and visited me and brought me cigarettes. They let you smoke there, which is the weirdest thing. The first thing I asked him when I got there, I was like, can you make sure you order my uh, nicotine patch? Because most hospitals, you, you can't smoke. You have a nicotine patch. And the nurse was like, well, yeah, but you won't be able to smoke if you have a nicotine patch. You know that, right? And I was like, smoke? What? So, and I, of course, right before I went into the emergency room, and once you're in the emergency room for psych stuff, you're in. Like, they don't let you out. So, I had thrown, because they also take lighters and things like that. They take all of your stuff, but um, I threw a full pack of cigarettes into the car, and I was like, I'm not gonna need these. And, um, so, of course, I had no cigarettes on me and got down there and they're like, yeah, you can smoke. They like, they had, oh my god, like one of the worst brands, Pucas brands, um, for everybody. But you could only smoke one if you were smoking theirs and if you were smoking your own, you could smoke two. So, that was cool once I got my own, but at the same time, like, even before waiting for people to finish because people would just fucking take forever they would lay in the grass and like it's like what the fuck are you doing smoke your cigarette um but it was just and it was so cold i get cold so easily anyway so i mean i would like bundle up and you know just freezing and then me and this other girl uh, we like hardly even knew each other. We just started like cuddling because we were just breathing and they were like, no touching. Um, but anyways, so it was an experience. Um, so yeah, EMDR therapy starts towards the end of the month. Um, I'm gonna do some other therapy too that I'm not gonna talk about on here. Um, and stuff with the case is still uh, going on. I'm not able to talk about that right now though because it's so frustrating. Um, but anyways, yeah, so. Right now I feel okay, hopefully it stays that way, and um, again, if anyone wants to get me a birthday present, please, 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 Google Wallet <laughs> or Amazon e-gift cards would be wonderful. I have zero dollars, so, alright. I really want this um, MacBook Air thing because I really want to start writing my book um, and it has a whole writing thing and everything but it's way out of my price range so anyways I love you guys gotta go it's running out of time love you